boys and girls, Miss Kanakin here. This week, Mrs. Weber and I would like you to practice your counting collections. So remember, counting collections is when you want to count a large number of items in a quicker way. So I have brought home all of our writing markers and I'm going to just pour about about half the bag. So you can use anything around your house, crayons, cutlery, paper clips, cars, Lego pieces. So I look at all this and it is very overwhelming. And I start going one, two, three, four. Oh, then they roll together and I lose count. So I'm gonna put them in groups and then I'm gonna use my skills of counting by fives and by tens. So let's make groups of five together. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Oh my goodness, it's an even number. So let's see, there's five in each group. I do not have to go one, two, three, four, five each time. I can count by fives, you got it. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 markers. That was a lot quicker. Can you think of another way? That's right, you guessed it. Let's count by twos. I would put them in groups of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'm just gonna put them in groups of two because I've lost count. Now I can go back and count them again. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So boys and girls, your task is to find three things around your house and count them in three different ways. And can you please take a picture of them and email them back to Ms. Weber and I by Friday. Bye, we miss you.